Woo! Your boy is back and better than ever. What is happening, guys? If you are new here, my name is Nicholas Che. I just got back from a huge, crazy summer trip in Europe, and I'm finally back in my home studio. If you're new to the channel, this is my lovely bedroom in the wonderful city of Dallas, Texas. And it's been a little bit of a while since I've made a sit-down video, so I have tons of different ideas coming for you guys, but today, since I've been back, I've kind of been just reflecting on my trip, and so today, I just want to talk about five reasons why traveling is so important. Um, before this video begins, if you enjoy this type of content and want to see more, make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on the Instagram to see more of the pictures that I posted while I was in Europe. All right, so if you have been keeping up with me on the gram, you know that I had a two month long internship in Paris and then I traveled to Amsterdam, Brussels, Switzerland, Berlin, Prague, and Munich for about two months total. It was super fun, had a lot of great adventures, made a lot of great friends, memories, and learned a lot. And that's kind of what I want to share with you today is like what you can learn from traveling because not only is it beneficial for your well-being but it's also just helps you grow and mature as a person intellectually and morally and just opens up a lot of opportunities for you so my first reason why traveling is so important is that it opens your eyes to an endless world of possibilities if you've never stepped out of your state your country or even the continent really you may not realize what's out there for you and since the world is so massive there are literally hundreds of thousands of places that you will never have seen never experienced the culture and never have stepped foot in unless you take that initiative to book a plane ticket book somewhere to stay and just go out and explore i know at times it can be scary people think it's expensive people think it's not worth it when in reality there's nothing more worth your money than to travel because what's the point of working hard saving up all that cash if you're just gonna be staying at home in your boring old apartment and not going out to see what else is out there in the world and the reason why I started traveling when I was so young is I'm 19 now but last summer when I was 18 me and my best friend for 10 days we just did a trip from Paris Nice Monaco Barcelona and Madrid and that was hands down the best time of my life and from there the traveling bug just grew I travel a ton now. I've always traveled a lot over the summers with my dads. We would do road trips. So I've been to like 20 to 30 different states out of the country, um, Korea, China, North Korea, Japan, Hawaii. So I've, I've done my fair share of traveling and that's not to make me brag or say blah, 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 I'm rich and I can afford to travel when in reality, I found ways to do very cheap as a student on a college budget. That's an entirely new video. But yeah, going back to my main point, you just realize that there's so much out there in the world and it makes you hungry to be more successful, work harder in college, and get a better job so you can have the luxury to uh, travel and just experience so many new things. Okay, reason number two is that when you travel, you understand and you can explore a lot of different cultures. Whether you're in Europe, you're in Asia, you're in Africa, each different country and each continent has just different ways of living, different ways of eating their meals, living their life, how and what they prioritize. Like when I was in Europe, people would go on like an hour and a half lunch break. They would eat together as colleagues, you know, go for coffee, go for drinks after work. And there was just this environment of, you know, relaxation that isn't as prevalent in places like New York City where everything's so bustling people are so busy the city's constantly moving so just those two cultures right there are completely different compared to you know another place like Africa where you know livestock and farming may be the primary source of their cultures and when you finally make that realization that there are other ways that people are living it just kind of like forces you to open up your eyes have fresh perspectives on anything you encounter I think one of the coolest things is having the opportunity to experience and try different cultures lets you take little bits and pieces from each one and bring that back to your home life that you could integrate into your own culture for example like I said in Europe what I took from that was that relaxation was so important so now I want to make that a more important part of my own personal culture right and then in Korea um, the culture is very focused on hard work and fashion and academics and things like that so when I came back from Korea last year that those were some things that I kept in mind and was able to implement into my own daily life. Another thing is that you learn to respect and appreciate all the cultures for being different. In today's society, we tend to have this line of thinking that American culture is so top-notch that everyone you know, looks after us, that we have the best pop culture, music, artists, whatever, when in reality, that may not be the case. When I traveled, I realized that there are so many other 
talented individuals all across the world that don't get the light shed on them just because American culture has been so prevalent. So it just kind of opens your palettes for what you appreciate and what you think is good versus not good. The third reason why I think traveling is so important is that you really, really, really mature and you grow as a person. Whether you're traveling by yourself or with a friend or with family, being abroad in a new country where they may not even speak your language and having to navigate directions, find out how to get from place A to place B, where to eat, how to be safe most importantly, those are all very, very you know, important life skills and can seriously either mean life or death or even on a smaller scale like having to pay a fine for missing a bus or catching a late flight or something like that. And so when I was traveling, I realized that like shit, you have to learn how to grow up real quick there is no one out there to help you in the real world. If you don't have your stuff figured out before you travel, then you're in some serious trouble because if you miss a flight, if you miss a train, you're literally halfway across the world, like your mom can't come and help you. Or if you're in the hospital or if something's been stolen, like you quickly learn to be more responsible, be more mature and just be more aware most importantly. Take in your surroundings, be conscious of if it's a touristy area, don't have all your camera gear and your phones out for pickpockets or avoiding bad places at night, things like that. It's, it seems like very common sense, but when we travel, we're in this constant mindset of go, 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 that we don't stop to think and just be aware of our surroundings. After having all these experiences for the two months, like being by myself and having to figure out everything, I have felt that I have matured personally and that I learned a lot and learned not only about myself, but about how to treat other people, how to expect to be treated and, and things along that line. All right, reason number four is that you're able to utilize your multilingualism and practice your people skills. If you're someone like me who has the ability to speak multiple languages, so I speak English, Korean, Spanish, and French, Traveling is the perfect opportunity for you to practice that and immerse yourself in a culture that will you know, help you along the way if you're trying to ask for directions in Spanish in Mexico or you're trying to order in French at a local Paris restaurant or something like that. I think for the most part, locals are pretty accommodating and you know, willing to help you along and appreciate the fact that you're going out of your way to practice that Spanish rather than just asking in English, which they may not understand. The people skills part of this is that when you're traveling, undoubtedly there are going to be instances is where you're gonna to have to ask strangers for help whether it's for directions or how to get to this landmark or you know what to eat for dinner and if you don't have the skills to go up and talk to strangers be nice be courteous and just be a good person then you know traveling will quickly teach you that and it seems like it's such an easy thing and that everyone should have it when in reality not everyone is a people person so I think that traveling is a perfect time for you to develop those skills so that you can come back and utilize that and implement that more into your daily life all right and the most obvious reason number five is that it pushes you out of your comfort zone if you have never traveled, never been out of the state, never been out of the country or continent, I highly, highly recommend you to do some research on a place you've always wanted to go. Look into plane tickets and hostels and just do it. Like, there is nothing stopping you except yourself. I saw a tweet about a month ago saying, travel, your money will return, your time will not. I think when we're at this age, when we're so young and don't have the obligations of the real world, there is literally no better time for you to go out and see the world and just ball out. Like you work so hard, you save up all that money, and sure it's cool to buy clothes or makeup or phones or whatever, but taking that money and investing it into a plane ticket in a hotel, I guarantee you 100% that that is more priceless than any other materialistic thing. because. The places that you see, the people that you meet, the experiences that you have, those will last with you for a lifetime. And I think that's the biggest thing is that as someone who has traveled a lot and has had a lot of these experiences, I just wanted to be able to share that with some of you guys who may have never traveled. And, you know, I'm no travel expert. I don't do this for a living. I'm literally just a college kid who enjoys traveling, loves seeing the world, loves experiencing different cultures. And since I've had so many of these experiences, I've realized that it kind of gives me a platform to share with you guys who may have never done any of this or are too scared to travel or anything like that so I realized that this may be another subtopic or a niche that you know I might have some insight on which is why I'll be trying to make a few more videos like this and I hope you guys are enjoying them anyways that about wraps up my thoughts on this being home has just given me time to reflect on you know like I said those amazing times that I've had and just wanted to share those with you and I hope you guys enjoy that make sure you guys leave a like on this video drop a comment down below because I will read every single one of them and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys next time